Waka waka bobaka, motherfucker. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't actually as funny as I thought it would be. What are you gonna do? I'm back! Even though I didn't really leave. But I'm back, in a way. Here to talk about the, the Pac-Mans. The, the Pac-Mans. Pick-Man and Olima. No. <laughs> Pick-Man and Olima. God damn it. <laughs> There's certain things that should not have happened in that in that invitational and pick man and Ollie Mo is one. I seriously do not get that. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and he and he pronounces it properly later on in the thing, so whatever. Uh Pac Man. Pac Man Honestly I'm not as pissed off as I thought I would be. Like I thought it was bullshit when they first said it. Like I like, it was really he was initially unveiled, technically speaking, in uh in a round table that was blocked off to the public, only certain people got in, right? And that's when he was revealed, and everybody was like, "Yeah!" But so everybody else, they only got that on Twitter, and a lot of people were just like, "Is this real? You're revealing it now? That doesn't make any sense." Like I was just like, "I don't, but I don't buy it for a second. I don't buy it until I see a trailer. I it's just words. Nothing doesn't mean anything." And the next day, we got a trailer. And it's a really good trailer. It's awesome. Like, it's like, red for Mario, blue for Sonic and Mega Man, yellow for Pac-Man, oh my god, freak out! All that stuff. And honestly, after seeing how he plays, I actually don't mind him that much. Like, a lot of people really seem to be complaining about him nowadays. I know there's some people who think it's the best thing ever, but there's also some people who fucking hate it. Like, they're like, oh my god, Pac-Man, that's so fucking stupid. That doesn't make any sense. What, what does Pac-Man have to do with anything? It's just like, nobody asked for him, which is not true. A lot of people did. And it's like, oh, I've heard of, like, of Kayla, I've heard a lot of people not really like him. Like, they think that he doesn't fit or he's, he's just not right. Honestly, I don't mind. I actually kind of like him in the game. Like, a lot of his specials look very interesting. He, uh, he has he has a nice appealing design, of course. Uh, he fits in surprisingly well. And of course, he got the the four big uh, mascots and parts of of video gaming history. They got the quote unquote grandfather of gaming, who is uh, Pac Man. You got freaking Sonic, the the rival to the most known video game character of all time, who is Mario, who's also in the game, mascot of Nintendo, biggest gaming character ever, Cash Cow, who now has an American, uh, now has American co color scheme, which I know is his NES golf color scheme from the uh, update uh, earlier today, so yeah, if you want to know when this was recorded, well, it was recorded the day that it came out, so the same day. And you, you can probably see it when it up, whatever. Anyways. And then you got Mega Man, who's... Mega Man. Fight, super fighting robot. Fighting to save the world. Mega Man! <laughs> it's Mega Man! <laughs> super fighting robot! Mega Man! Fighting to save the world! <laughs> God damn it, this is the best part of the invitational, hands down. <laughs> uh, super fighting robot! Mega Man! Okay, uh, enough said. So I, I feel that it's a monumental point in gaming, which is what, every, which is what all the supporters are really getting on about. And I, I, I see that. And I see how he actually plays pretty interestingly. I, I like... How Pac-Man plays. He plays interestingly. Not so much my style. My style is more so a Greninja or like a Samus. Or even Bowser. Which is just me listing the characters I look that I think look amazing in this game. I mean, seriously. Bowser's getting super armor as much as Lil Mac. It's freaking ridiculous. But I like how Pac-Man plays. From what I've heard from Sakurai and from, you know, uh, just like how... From like gameplay analysis... Uh, Sees analysis is is whatever uh, analysis uh, whatever uh, like he he plays interestingly like he, a lot of his uh, side smashes and his, his specials are pretty interesting like I like how I 
I do like how his uh his up B could be used by other people, but could also be a complete trap because like that also it gives it an upside and a downside to it. Like it's an okay that move because it kind of sucks if you're like trying to finish somebody off and you, you know, like by media smashing them and you bounce up and then somebody else uses that as a way of getting back up. That would kind of suck. Although I don't think he has a media. No, 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 he does. Uh, the uh. The, uh, freaking fire hydrant, he, if he throws that down, that's a media spa smash. At least that's what I get, that's the impression I get from it. So, yeah, he technically does, and other people can use it up to a certain amount, and then they fall through. There's, uh, his, his special, his neutral special, which is, uh, his fruit thing, he summon he summon first of all, it starts off as fruit, which takes, like, it'll start cycling through fruit, and it'll take longer and longer as it starts cycling, but it gets more powerful as it goes along. Like, you got, it starts with a couple of fruit, you throw it, and it gets bigger, and it gets more powerful, but then it, like, starts cycling through Namco representatives. And by the way, that's another reason why he's perfectly fine in the game. He's the freaking mascot of Namco Bandai, who are helping to make the game, and Sakurai himself said he wanted him in the game. There was no doubt that he was getting in, whether or not you'd like it or not. Sakurai wanted him in, so therefore, he was in. Not to mention, Sakurai had this plan from the beginning. Uh, according to Sakurai, during uh, the no, not during the invitational, during the roundtable, he mentioned that he actually uh, he has a preset list at the beginning of every at the beginning of every production of uh, a new Smash Brothers game. He already has a list of all the characters that are getting in, or at least for the most part. Uh, I should be sitting in the middle. I'm just kind of sitting in the you know, just whoop. Okay. He already has a preset list for everybody who's coming in, even characters like Greninja. Uh, since, technically speaking, he had a he had a little bit of a window into the, like into the making of like the, of uh, X and Y. So you know he saw so pretty much he saw some of the preliminary uh, Pokemon. One of them being Greninja, of course, because you know he was a starter, uh, which was apparently a, which was apparently announced. Apparently, they had Greninja's final design, like, finished way before they originally, uh, like, announced him, because I, I believe they released him, like, they released the final forms for the, the starters, like, right as X and Y came out. Well, of course, there was the leaks because of the people who got the games ahead of time, because some shops gave it, whatever. There, there was, of course, those leaks that were there, but apparently Greninja was, like, done since the original release. Greninja's design was already done up from the original release, and guess what, Sakurai Team team Greninja? I was right, because he was just like, he took a look at all the starters, and he was just like, hey, what about that Greninja guy? Maybe we can do something with him. He, yeah, let's, let's make a move set around him, and ironically enough, it worked perfectly fine. Like, around him and his his uh, initial de design and some of the moves he'd get. Like, I assume it was just like, um, he, I don't think he was programmed, but I think he was conceptualized at that point. Like, Sakurai apparently has everything planned beforehand. That's really, that's cool. I, I, I like it. So, so yeah, people yelling, Oh, put in this character or that character. He's not going to put it in because you say so. He already has everything, like, written out. He got everything planned, right? That and, uh, another thing from the round table, because as long as, long as we were discussing Pac-Man, like, his side specials, I, I like. I like how side specials are turning into more classic form as a, a dash attack and like uh, the the yeah. Uh, I do like how the fire hydrant down special, or maybe yeah, it's a down special uh, where he throws it on the ground. It could be used as a projectile in like three ways. Him throwing it down to the ground is probably a meteor smash. When he lands on the ground, it, it like it does a double shot outward, which is implied to also be able to hit. Pac-Man, but it's more of like a, a flood type thing, where it pushes thing, enemies back, and then if you hit it, if you actually hit it, like I believe if anybody hits it, it'll get launched forward, and that will be another projectile. It's very versatile. Uh, I really do like it. Mm. Oh, wait. Mm. Okay. <laughs> There's also uh, I don't know all, I don't know all of the moves offhand, but I do th think that he's actually pretty okay character. I try him out. I try him out the first time I play the game. Pick it up. Uh, of course, it's not the character I'm jumping on first. I'll probably go for like 
Well, actually, if I'm going to go for any character, I really want to try out Samus, because apparently she's OP. And I, from all the footage I've seen, oh my god, she's ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh, oh, my god, it's just maddening. And I hear people who play and they're like, oh, she's not that powerful, I don't see why, and they're just like, they're not, but most of the people are, aren't main for Samus, and but I see, like, all the amount, the amount of damage she does and the buffs, the small buffs that they put on certain things, I'm just like, oh my god, they're buffing everybody. <laughs> of course, that's just how this game is going, everybody's OP, so therefore nobody is, so everything's balanced. Which is cool. I, I think it's a... A nice uh, gesture, not gesture. It's a good way of balancing things. Uh, I, I really do not. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I think I'm, I'm running this a bit too long. But oh yeah, Pac-Man stages. Uh, he has Pac-Man, which was like one of the oldest platformers ever. That was like an arcade game, I think. And there was like an there was a home console version for it of it as well. It's pretty much a game where you play as Pac-Man, you know that one game, you play as Pac-Man, you have to get a fairy to the end of the level and then go back. And that was apparently the shit back in the day, because that was like, oh my god, that's before Mario! It was a platform, it wasn't very good, but by today's standards, but you know, it was something. And then you have, of course, the original maze, which is, which according to Sakurai, if you Pretty much all the ghosts around there are technically stage hazards, but if you get a hundred power pellets, one a hundred pellets, uh, a power pellet will appear in your color, and if you grab it, all the all the uh, Pac-Man ghosts, all the ghosts are like, oh yeah, that's what I forgot. His his, his smash attacks to ghosts. I I actually kind of I actually agree with that. I like it. Blinky is the bringer of death and and hell and destruction. So you know it might as well be a, a side a smash. Though I find it a bit odd. It's Sakurai. <laughs> That's how I answer my problems. It's Sakurai. Sakurai says, Sakurai does, Sakurai gets. Don't argue with the Sakurai, or else you'll get trolled. Although, even if you don't, you still get trolled, so... You know what? Do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, well, he's side smashes the ghost, but as I was saying in the stage, the ghosts, uh, they... They pretty, when you get the power pellet, they're changed into a vulnerable state, but they're only vulnerable for the person on the screen, because that's the stage for the 3DS version, which, cool, I think that's cool, that's fun, that's a fun way of doing it, that's a very creative way of using the 3DS's individual screen as a uh, way of, you know, making your, your game unique, like you get, it's just like the uh, new Super Mario Bros. stage, where you get a uh, hundred coins, and you get a hundred coins, and you have the counter on your screen specifically. Stuff like that. I I really do enjoy that. I didn't actually get to play the demo though, although he wasn't in it. So whatever. Anyways, I think I've gone on long enough. Uh, sure. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm missing something, but I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, I do like how his, I like how his combo uh, works. And I, oh, now I remember what I was gonna talk about. The most hyped thing about that trailer. But I should go go back into the. I do like how his combos work. Is is uh, mid air special? Uh, no, not specials. Uh, mid air mid air attacks are actually really uh really impressive to me. I think they look just as good as the rest of them, though not as good as, say, like, a lot of other ones, like, again, let's go back to Samus, who, who up special now has, who up special, up special screw attack, which I often, I often, like, set up a, a combo, like, I'll do, like, like, a, a, a down tilt with Samus, you know, the explosive one where she just goes, like, she, she slams the ground with a cannon, makes an explosion that blasts up, I'll do, like, that, and then I'll follow that up with a up smash, which is like the explosion attack, which is again getting a buff, and then I'll like, and then I'll finish off with like a screw attack, or I'll do like a bunch of midair attack, and then finish off with a screw attack, which wouldn't do all that much, but it'll get a good combo and get a lot of damage up off on uh, an enemy. But in this game, it's gonna be like a, it, at the end, there's a little, a bit of a smash effect at the very end of that, which which will launch enemies, which is just, gonna be amazing for me. I just think that's gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, part of my language. Though I suppose I've been touring a lot anyway, but anyways, I 
gotta stop that. But the high most type part of that trailer... Mr. Gamer watches trailer has been teased! I know he only popped up there to make a comparison as far as age-wise, and Willy Pac-Man isn't all that older than Mario and Donkey Kong. And he's nowhere near as famous, so... Whatever. Uh, Game & Watch. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was the most hype part of the trailer for me. I was like, oh my god, Game & Watch! Yay! Yeah! Game & Watch! Gotta love them three frames of animation! Fuck yeah! Oh yeah! Oh man! I'm, uh, I have no life, do I? <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> I don't know why they didn't show any gameplay with him. He's just made an appearance, which implies he's in the game. Probably as an unlockable character, uh, like say probably Ness is, or like Jigglypuff, or the Cap, the Captain Falcon. We all know he's in the game. Don't deny it. Don't deny the Falcon. Never deny the Falcon. You're a video game lord and savior. No, uh. <laughs> uh yeah, so, that's really all I gotta say about Pac-Man. I, I said my dues. Well, that's my impressions, slash, kinda synopsis. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.